And um, I'm going to let her introduce her own song, the uh, old Belfast Shoemakers. Uh, of course, I never think of anything to say in advance, like all these proper folk singers. <laughs> but um, I know, I kind of, this was an early one that um, I learned that I, I first really got off when I started listening to Frank Hart's songs, was one of the first ones I learned. And uh, I mean, it's about 1798 and it's about a, a Protestant fella. Of course, from Belfast, the Belfast Shoemaker, but sung in Frank's own accent. <laughs> but um, I like it because, you know, there's hardly any bad stuff in it. Like, he has a great time, this guy, you know, except for one or two slight hitches. So anyway, yeah, the Belfast Shoemaker. Come all you true born Irishmen, wherever you may be. I hope you'll pay attention and listen unto me. I am a bold shoemaker, from Belfast town I came. And to my great misfortune, I listed in the train. I had a fair young sweetheart, Jane Wilson was her name. She said it grieved her to the heart to see me in the train. She told me if I would desire to come and let her know. She dressed me up in her old clothes that I might go to and fro. We marched through Chapel Lizard like heroes stout and bold. I'll be no more a slave to them, my officer, I told. For to work upon a Sunday with me did not agree. And so, brave boys, I did declare to take my liberty. When camped at Tipperary, we soon got this command. For me and for my comrade, bold one night on guard to stand. The night had been both wet and dark, and so we did agree that on that very night, brave boys, we take our liberty. The night that I deserted, I had no place to stay. I went into a meadow and lay down in the hay. It was not long that I lay there until I rose again. And looking all around me, I espied six of the train. We had a bloody battle, but soon I bait them all. And soon the dastard cowards for mercy loud did call. Saying, spare our lives, brave Erwin, and we will pray for thee. And that's for by all that's fair, we will declare for you and liberty. As for George Clark of Carmick, I own he's very main. For the sake of thirty shillings, he had me took again. They locked me in the guard room. My fate far to deplore, with four on every window and six on every door. I've been in close confinement, I soon looked all around. <coughs> I leapt out of the window and knocked four of them down. The light horse and the train, me boys, they soon did follow me. But I kept my road before the man deserve my liberty. I next joined Father Murphy, as you will plainly hear. And many's the battle did I fight with his brave Shalmalir. With four hundred of his crappy boys, we battered Lord Mountjoy. And at the Battle of New Russ, we made ten thousand fly. I am a bow shoemaker, and Erwin is my name. I could bait as many orange men as listed in the train. I would bait as many orange men as could stand in a row. I would make them fly before me like an arrow from a bow. Oh. Good girl. I do, uh,